When Dropbox announced in December that they were closing down Mailbox, me and many other people locked ourselves in a dark room, put on some sad emo music, had a big cry and tried to pretend that this wasn't going to happen. I absolutely love my Mailbox and Dropbox, I hate you for shutting it down. But in this video, I wanna show you the hands down best Mailbox alternative for Mac OS X that I have just found. And it's called Poly Mail. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Mailbox on the right versus Polymail on the left and we'll go through some of the features as well and you can see whether this is for you. It is currently in alpha but you can sign up for a beta and just so you know they are planning to launch an iPhone app before Mailbox closes down. Straight away it's so much like Mailbox but it's actually more beautiful and looks even better. So Mailbox you've got all of your emails on this side the same here. I've only added two so far, uh, but that's fine. So we can see all of them here. Let me just go into this email and you can see that it's basically the same. We've got, here's an email from Product Hunt. We've then got uh, property listings, which are part of my website, what I do for a business down there. It's the same sort of things. You know, you can archive one by sliding it across or you can delay it as well, or you can hit enter and then it's going to archive that. So let's go ahead and look at the next one, click enter and archive that. And when you take an action, it's going to sync it across the two. So we can see that both of them are syncing quite fine. I could, can I slide this across? Okay, look, I think they're going to add sliding in, but they haven't yet. Uh, but you can, obviously, you can archive it up the top there. You can delete it. You can click snooze and you can get it to come back at different points, which is one of the big things about Mailbox is being able to get something to pop back in your inbox in a month's time, next week, tomorrow. And so we can do this with Polymail as well. So again, if I hit Command D, um, that's the same thing. So all the same things work. So in Mailbox, if I want to put something in a list, I hit Command L and it can put it in a list. And in Polymail, if I hit Command L, then it gives me the option to put it in a list. If I hit Command D, I can delay it. The same as Mailbox, Command D allows you to delay it. If I want to archive it, I hit Enter. The same with Mailbox, if I want to archive something, I hit Enter. So it's basically all the same processes. You can actually see all the hotkeys. Just hit Command and then forward slash and it's going to show you all of the different hotkeys here so you know you can go through and you can look at these but basically it's all the same you've got all your lists the same as mailbox you've got your sent folder everything you archive you can find in your archive folder that's the thing that I hated about Outlook I was using that but if I archive something it just disappeared and then I would have to go and search for it to find it so this puts everything in the archive folder you've got your read later folder so let's go ahead and delay this one to come this weekend Okay, that's now going to move to my read later folder and pop back into my account next weekend. So Polymail basically does everything that Mailbox does. It just looks better and it's going to be supported. They've got plans in the works for premium features that people will pay for and that's the way they're going to monetize their service. But basically, all the features that you get inside Mailbox are going to be available for free. Uh, let me go into the Polymail preferences and have a look here. Uh, we can adjust our list and we can edit them there. So when Mailbox closes, I'm going to want to get rid of that Mailbox slash. And so I can go ahead and edit that and rename it to just buying a house or just expenses. You know, all of my list there. Um, some event features here. You can change whether you want an all inbox count down the bottom. You can have an unread account. So I've got seven unread. You can have just a dot, which is shows you that there's something in your inbox but isn't showing you how many messages. I like how Slack does that so they've copied Slack with that or you can go ahead and put nothing in and it doesn't show anything. It's saying you can manage all accounts. At the moment in Alpha I can only add Gmail but if I can add Outlook or Google Apps or IMAP in the future then this is going to be awesome. Even better than Mailbox basically. People are saying it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up. So you can crawl out of your dark room, get some coffee. Let's get back to work because I have now found for you, hands down, the best mailbox alternative for Mac OS X. So go ahead, sign up for the beta, go ahead and download it, and I hope you enjoy it. And you can go ahead and get that at polymail.io.